Good afternoon. I hope everybody's doing good. I had mentioned that uh, the next video would be with ballistic gelatin, and uh, last night I whipped up five gallons of ballistic gelatin. Don't try that in your kitchen. It will tick your wife off. Um, you'll get everything dirty, messy, sticky, but the final product is right in front of you. It's a 9-inch by 9-inch by 14-inch block of ballistic gelatin. Not a uniform size for anybody who uh, knows the FBI standards, but uh, I wanted to make kind of an oversized piece for uh, this test because of what I'm firing, the uh, AEA-72 Zeus. <clears throat> uh, the first round is going to be just the typical lead one that I've been uh, using in some of the other videos. Uh, I use the 725 grain and I use the 835 grain. This is going to be with the 725 grain. However, after that, I've got a couple fun things to try. Uh, this one is injection molded wax with 32 caliber lead pellets in it. I think there's about seven of them. Weighs in at around 400 grain. And this is the uh, shot round I've been making, the injection molded wax with about 400 grains a shot. The next time I do a video on one of these, I'm actually going to start making them heavier. I'm going to bring them in at about 500 grain instead of having a little wax on bottom there. It's going to be all shot. I think it's going to break up a little easier and uh, it will be heavier. But uh, for this video, I'll be using the 400 grain. And I did one other thing. You can't really see it in the video yet, but I'm going to end up turning this ballistic gelatin around. On the other side is a bone. And the uh, thing that makes the shot round kind of interesting is, uh, I guess my inspiration is a 1974, 1975 round called Glass or Safety Slug. It was designed to have a shot inside and kind of stay together as one piece until it hit something, then it would shatter. And that way, if it hit uh, sheet rock, something like that, it'd break apart. I think it was originally designed for uh, safe shooting inside airplanes, but like sky marshals. So anyway, uh, when it hits a hard object, it's going to break up. So when it hits that bone that's on the other side, when I turn this around, I expect you're going to see it either break the bone or circle around the bone. But we should get a real good spread pattern. But anyway, let's get this sucker started. Get the gun ready to go. So again, first up, it's gonna be 725 grain lead round. And even with the suppressor, I'm here to tell you that is loud. So let's get the phone loose. I don't know if you can see that pathway there, but you got a pathway that goes very, very nicely. You got a nice spread pattern through all 14 inches of the ballistic gelatin, and that is a server behind it. And that's a hole through the server. And then the back side of the server, a hole through the back side of the server, and actually the steel stopped it. So that round goes through 14 inches of ballistic gelatin into the server, through a server, through all this stuff that's inside the server, and actually hit the steel. And I'll try to dig that round out here in just a little bit and uh, see what became of that. I see a little fragment on the ground. I think that's probably where it broke up. So 